Hi everyone! Welcome to Good Night Stories with Miss Magpie. Tonight we are reading a book titled Spider! This punctuation mark that, do you know what it's called? Yes, X exclamation mark. That exclamation mark tells me that I've got to be shouting when I read this title. Well, do you shout when you see a spider? I used to do, do that a lot. I used to shout and scream for my life whenever I saw a spider. So did my children. And this book has helped me a lot to change the way I see spiders. I look at spiders. So, this book is written by Alison Stedman, a famous actress who was born in Liverpool. I have a very special place in my heart for all people from Liverpool. They're so kind. They're called Scousers and I love Scousers. So, another great thing that came from Liverpool. Spider, illustrated by Mark Chambers, written by Alison Stedman. This book belongs to me, says the spider. All right. It was another ordinary afternoon in Raphael's house until, what do you think happened? Mm-hmm. Do you see anything dangerous in the picture? Oh yes, that is the big hairy, that is a big hairy, scary spider. I hate spiders. I hate spiders, uh, I think. Someone just made up their mind. Well, let me tell you a fact. Spiders have eight legs. That makes them very fast runners. Another fact, spiders' legs are great. They can even run upside down on the ceiling. Did you know that? Like that? Hmm. Now, I hate spiders! I hate spiders! I hate spiders! Dad swished and swatted, but he just couldn't catch the spider. See him hiding behind the jaw? Well, fact. Spiders are great at jumping. They use spider silk as safety rope. Later, Raphael was in the bathroom. He was humming happily to himself as he brushed his te teeth until... Oh no, Dad! It's the big, hairy, scary spider! Lots of exclamation marks, lots of screaming and shouting. Please, don't get your dad. Help me! I'm stuck in the bath. Look, he's stuck in the bath here. Look at that. A spider. Is that spider talking? Asked the cat. Well, take a look, closer look at that. It sure is. Well, tell, let me tell you a fact. Spiders don't count as insects. Insects only have six legs and spiders have two more, making eight. Like this little fellow. That is a, what do you think? Yes, a mosquito. And this little guy has got, well, two sets of three or three pairs of two legs. Which makes, yes, which makes, that's right, it makes six. So that is an insect. Spider is not an insect. It's got, how many? Two more than six. And that makes, that's right, that's eight. So, Raphael and Chips couldn't believe it. Um, did you just speak? I can't even get out of the bath. It's too slippy. Can you help? I don't wear shoes like you. Well, let's reach for some facts. Spi some spiders can't climb out of slippy baths. All they need is something they can use as a ladder. Try a towel or your run or your arm. Oh, have you ever spotted a spider in the bath? In the bathtub? It's probably stuck there. It's too slippy. Wow. Raphael 
threw a towel over the edge of the bath, keeping as far away as possible from the big, hairy, scary spider. What if it bites? A fact. House spiders don't bite people. In fact, spiders don't even have the ability to chew. The next morning, Raphael opened his eyes and the big, hairy, scary spider was still there. Thank you for rescuing me last night. Are we friends now? A friendly fellow, huh? I'm not sure I want to be your friend. You've got long, hairy, scary legs. Oh, that's nothing. I'll show you some legs that are even hairier. What's wrong with hairy legs? Hmm, stay here, buddy. Raphael gulped and followed the spider. Fact, spiders have 48 knees. Six per leg for eight legs. That will be eight times you have to add the same number, number six. So six plus six plus six plus six, are you keeping count? That's only four. Plus six plus six plus six plus six. I've added number six eight times. And yes, six times eight is 48. That's about right. Well, one, two. How many knees have you got? More than two? Well, I tell you. That's an interesting creature. Another fact with an exclamation mark because that's super exciting. I actually feel like shouting them out because those are super exciting. All spiders are hairy, just like all humans. Spiders use their hairs to work out where they are to smell and taste. Can you believe it? You taste with your hair. How interesting would that be? Well, let me taste some of that whipped cream. Mommy wouldn't be too pleased with that. I wouldn't be. Well, so they even use their hair to attract other spiders, to make other spiders like them and come near them. Wonder why? Well, they look like friendly creatures, right? Well, you see, Oh, that is, that is the day the spider wanted to show the boy something even more hairy. What could that be? Mm -hmm. You see, it's a big, hairy, scary human. You're right. Wow, Z, my dad's legs are even hairier than yours. What are you doing under the bed, Raphael? Come and see my web, Raphael. A fact. Exciting. Male spiders are usually smaller than female spiders. It means boy spiders are usually bigger than the girl spiders. Oh, excuse me, smaller than the girl spiders. And both can live for several years. That is more than one and two or three. Well, I want to start with a fact. That's so exciting. A fact. Engineers are studying spider silk to work out. Oh, that's the thing that is, wow, well, spinning out of... The spider, hmm. Um, spider silk to work out how spiders can make it so strong. Maybe one day it might be used to build airplanes. How amazing, we can learn something so awesome from a little spider. Well, Raphael thought the web was amazing. I did too. Well, this is why I designed with my little girl my very own sweater with a spider web design. Hmm? So wowzy, you're like a superhero. Look at them. My hairy legs are really useful for holding onto my webs. Bet you can't guess how I spin the web th though. Can you guess how the spider makes the web? How it spins that silky thread with my Bottom! <laughs>
spinneret for making super strong silk. Look at that. Yes, they spin that silk thread with their bottom. Yes, you can say that word because that is a fact. Not imaginary thing, but a fact. So a fact. Spiders don't just have eight legs. They have eight eyes too. All those eyes help them see predators coming from any direction. That means those that would like to eat them, the predator. I can't do that with my bottom. Bumped out, I'm sorry you can't do that with your bottom, but you can do lots of things with your tail. So, you're cool too. Every little creature has its own special features and awesome things. Okay, Raphael and Chips were hungry. What are you eating? That's my favorite. Look at him eating a banana. What are you eating? Ooh, look at him. What is he eating? Uh oh. Look like a little. Mm, a f I think it's a fly. It could be a, mos Shh, a mosquito. <gasps> oh, I like fish. I know you do. I know, buddy. So, fact spiders love eating flies. Some spiders eat as many as 2,000 flies and other insects each year. Oh my goodness, this is a proper house pest control. Whoa, they are so useful. Well, house spiders' favorite food? Anything they can catch. Menu. Number one, flies. First thing on the menu. Second, moths. Third, cockroaches. Well, mommies don't like those little creatures hanging around anyhow. So, well, if you got a spider, chances are that you don't get to see a cockroach because it'll be eaten. Bed bugs and crickets. Another fact. Did you know that spiders are found all over the world on every continent except which continent you think they cannot live on? A really, really cold one. Antarctica. You will not see a spider in Antarctica. So suddenly the door opened. Raphael, what are you doing? Ah, that's daddy. That big, hairy, scary spider again. Well, I'm learning about spiders. Don't be scared. This is Spidey. He's not a big, hairy, scary spider. He is clever and brave. And he knows how to spin a web from his bottom. And he loves eating flies. And he's just as scared of you, of you as you are of him. Look at him. Well, that's a lesson for mommy and daddy. And he is my friend and mine. I know, I know you are, you are friends, so hold on to the spider now, right? Hmm, did you say he eats flies? Oh, that sounds good. I hate flies. And a spidey kept teaching Raphael and they became the best of friends. You can take care of your coat and I can shed my exoskeleton. Look, ex Oskeleton. Fact. Spiders can shed their coats, their exoskeletons, eight times before they become adults. <gasps> before they grow up, they just shed, they just drop their coats. Look at that, it's like dropping their skin on the ground. Wow. You know, spiders can lay up to 200 eggs. Look, I've got pulps. They're a bit like boxing gloves. That's how you know I'm not a girl spider. The end. There is something really special at the very end that I want you to mark by from this book. Take and make your own. A pledge. My house spider pledge. I will never squash a spider. I will always help spiders out of the bath. I will remember that spiders have feelings too. Signed, Miss Magpie. I if I'm not interested in keeping spiders as my home pest control, I just let them out of the window and let them find their happiness there. But I do not squash spiders anymore because 
I looked my fear in the eye and checked out some facts and Miss Alison Stedman has helped us this, with that wonderfully by giving us so, so many fun facts about spiders. So another thing to mark by, look your fear in the eye and check it out if you really have anything to, um, to be afraid of. For tonight, good night, sleep tight. Bye-bye, see you at Magpie Yard.